My dear brothers and sisters, what do you ask of God and his holy church? I ask that by possessing the form of wine in the Franciscan Third Order of the Immaculate, I may be able to follow the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, the commandments of God, the precepts of the church, and with his holy operations, follow in his footsteps. Thanks be to God. Are you willing to take on the responsibilities of this profession? I am. Please be seated. As we look at St. Francis, he was the saint who conformed himself to Christ and him crucified, but he was also the saint who was known for joy. So today should be a joyful day for you because it really is a day for which, you know, you it's not an ending. It's an ending of one thing. It's an ending of part of your preparation. But now is the beginning of your to live out what you have received in your formation, received as a grace of vocation. First and foremost, Our Lady has these graces waiting for you now to be a Franciscan tertiary of the Immaculate. And first and foremost, that's the thing that you want to every day ask her for those graces and ask her to be for the grace to be faithful to that vocation that you have discerned that God has given you. Today we celebrate Our Lady's Assumption and Our Lady <clears throat> was rewarded by her son after her earthly life of faithfulness to him and how she cooperated so, so excellently with all that he asked of her that he rewarded her and brought her to heaven to be with him. And as you know, as you've made your Marian vow for these years, those who are making their profession this evening, you know that you've made a Marian vow of being consecrated to Our Lady totally, that in one sense you want to echo that, that perfect yes of Our Lady to Christ. Just as she said yes to him in everything, so that you in your profession as a Franciscan Third Order member of the Immaculate want to imitate her in that generosity and that no reservations that you have hopefully been trying to put into practice these years of you, as you have been living out this Marian vow of consecration, now you also will live it out as a Franciscan tertiary of the Immaculate, as St. Francis, who so cooperated with Our Lady and as she wanted to form him into another Jesus crucified. As St. Paul says, I preach Christ and him crucified. And so St. Paul understood that that's part of the, that's part of our, identity as Christians is to be conformed to Christ and him crucified. Not just Christ and his public life, but Christ crucified. Because that's where Christ worked out his most noble work of redemption is on the cross. And so if we are going to cooperate with him in that work, then we are going to end up at the foot of the cross with Our Lady. That's why St. John is there at the foot of the cross the beloved disciple, that he's giving you this gift to follow Christ in the, in the manner and in the example of the poor little man of Assisi, St. Francis, who wanted to, what, nothing other than to be a lesser brother in the household of Jesus and Mary. Would all the novices please stand? My dear brothers and sisters, although you have already been consecrated to the Lord and have died to sin through baptism, are you now resolved to consecrate yourselves more closely to God by this new bond of profession in our seraphic order? Are you resolved to constantly and steadfastly strive for the perfection of love for God and neighbor by fulfilling perfectly the commandments of God, the precepts of the church, and the promises made at baptism? Are you resolved to live the Marian vow of total consecration to the Immaculate? Amen. Are you resolved with the help of God to embrace and love poverty, to nourish the spirit of prayer and live a life of penance according to your state of life? Amen. May Almighty God grant you his grace to fulfill what you resolve. Amen. And let us pray. 
Lord, in their desire to imitate your son, Jesus Christ, in his poverty and crucifixion after the manner of St. Francis, these servants are resolved to dedicate their lives to you by making profession of the Marian vow of total consecration in the presence of your church today. Pour out the spirit of your love in their hearts that they may be dedicated to your service, sincere in their love for you, able to fulfill their profession cheerfully, preserve it faithfully, and with spiritual joy advance along the way of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 